Hey guys, Tommy YT here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to host your own Discord bot within Visual Studio Code, so let's get started. First, what you want to do is go to your browser and type in node.js, and then go to the first link. And what you want to do is download the LTS version right here, it should be on the left. Once it's downloaded, it should be in your downloads folder. And then what you want to do from there is go to your search bar and type in node.js. Run it to make sure that everything works good. And then exit out of this. And what we're going to do from here is install Visual Studio Code. So type in Visual Studio Code. And then go to the first link. And then download it for whatever your OS is. Once you have Visual Studio Code downloaded, we're going to go to the search bar, type in Visual Studio Code. If Visual Studio Code prompts you with any setup, make sure that you do the setup beforehand. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is right click on your desktop and then go to New and then New Folder. I'm just going to call this Bot. Whoops, I guess not. Bot 2. There we go. So now we got this bot2 folder and we're going to go to the explorer right here. Control shift E or by clicking on this icon, open folder and then desktop. Bot2 right here. It's a folder that we just made and then we're going to full screen this. And then under bot2, you're not going to see anything because we actually have to initiate NPM first. So we're going to go to run, or not run, <laughs> terminal. We're going to go to terminal, new terminal, and we're going to type in npm i, not npm i, npm init. There we go. So use npm i for install. Okay. So you're going to see package name. You can name this whatever you want. So I'm going to type in discord bot and then enter. Version, I don't need to change this. So I'm just going to press enter. Description, my discord bot entry point index.js keep that as that enter test command nah enter 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 author tiny scale it enter and this is okay so i'm gonna click yes and as you can see package.json has been made so i'm going to go back to terminal and i'm going to type in npm i discord.js at 13. This installs the package discord.js version 13. So I'm just going to click enter on that. And as you can see, we got this node modules folder and package lock.json. What we're going to do from here is click on this new file icon or right click and then new file. And then we're going to name this file index.js. Perfect. Okay. So from here, we're going to do a little bit of coding. I'm going to have all this code linked in the paste bin in the description of this video. But we're just going to type in const discord equals require discord.js. Just like that. And then create two more lines and on line three, const client equals new discord dot client. And then enter. And then we're going to set up some intents. Intents are very useful. So if your bot doesn't work and if you don't think that's the code, make sure that you review the intents and make sure that everything is valid if you don't know where to find intents. Then you can search them up probably on Stack Overflow or you could look through the documentation. But for intents, it's going to be guilds. I'm gonna, oh, guilds, all uppercase by the way. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see more. Guilds, guild underscore messages guild underscore members 
message underscore content and then comma guilds makes it so that the bot can read all the guilds that it's in guild messages make sure that the bot can read all the messages that have been sent in the guilds and then guild members makes it so it can read all the mem members inside of the guild message content make sure that the bot can read the content of messages and then we're going to type in some partials all we need is channel and then message just like that we're going to create two more lines and we're going to do we're, we're going to actually going to find the token so const token equals just like that we're going to paste the token in between the quotes later once we actually get all the script up but what we're going to do is set up a client on ready listener so client dot on ready async just like that and then console.log this by the way is a backtick you can send them by holding tilde down so when the client gets logged in by the bot it's going to console that log client has been logged into. So we're going to create two more lines and we're going to utilize this token value right here client dot login token. And then go up a line, create a little space, three lines between client dot login and this. Also put a colon right here. And then from here, what we're going to do is set up a message listener event so that whenever a certain message is sent in the guild, then it will respond with a corresponding message. So client dot on message create async message, not message channel, message. And then what we're going to do is set up if message dot content dot to lowercase equals 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 test message dot reply test successful what we can also do is type in dot catch error right arrow and then console dot error error so what this does is whenever a message is sent in the guild this is a message event listener it sorts it to see if the message content to lowercase is test and if it is test which is to find anything within these two squiggly colons or, or squiggly parameter things it's going to reply test successful and then once the client has been logged in with the token provided above it's going to do the console log stuff but from here what we're going to do is actually create a discord bot we can do that by opening up your browser and going to discord.com oh, discord slash developers slash applications once you're on this page, click on new application. Uh, my bot. You can name this whatever. Whoops, why did it go away? You can name this whatever. It doesn't really matter too much, but sometimes some of the names are taken up too much or they're not allowed by Discord. But I'm just going to create this. So this is the general information tab. You don't really have to do anything with this for this tutorial. But you can change the app icon, the name, description, and stuff. But we're going to go to this bot tab right here. Scroll down a little bit, and you're going to see all of this privileged gateway intent. We're going to enable all of these. You should pretty much have these all on, unless you're under some specific circumstances. 
but we're going to go to OAuth2, a URL generator, and then we're going to go and we're going to select a bot, and then administrator. And then copy this link, and we're going to save that somewhere right here in a Discord tab. Or not Discord tab, I mean a, a Chrome tab or whatever your browser is. But we're going to go back to bot, scroll up a little bit, and you're going to see this reset token. We're going to reset the token, and then copy the token. And we don't need this right now, so I'm just going to hide that. We're going to go back to where it says token, and we're going to paste in the token right here. So if we did everything correctly, go back or go to debug console. And if you don't see debug console, uh, you will see it soon. So go to run and then start debugging or you could press F5 and you're want to run it with node.js. As you can see, client has been logged into my bot. So this means that the bot is online. So I'm going to create a server and invite the bot to the server using the invite link right here. So as you can see, I have created a guild and then I have this bot invite right here. We can copy and paste that into the Discord chat, click on it, and then you can add it to the server, continue, authorize, and there you go. The bot is in the server and the bot is online. You can share this invite link with your friends if you want them to use your bot. And also you can copy into a Chrome tab, press enter, and you can do verification manually, or not verification, but inviting the bot to the server manually. So if we say test, test successful. So the bot is online and it works good. If you guys want to get more in depth with Discord bots, I highly suggest reading Discord documentation or looking at other people's projects online like Stack Overflow or GitHub. If you want to keep your Discord bot constantly online, you can use a thing called PM2. It is free and I have a tutorial and I will link it right here. So if you guys found this tutorial useful, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial video. Peace.